Today's topic is going to be year-end tax planning for S-Corporation business owners. My name is Tony Cameron with TLDR Accounting and today we're going to talk about some year-end tax planning tips if you are an S-Corporation business owner. So S-Corporations are taxed differently, which we've talked about before. And there are a variety of things that you can do uh, to prepare yourself for year end and tax season. Now, as always, this would definitely be something I'd run by your tax accountant, especially since you should have one to prepare your S corporation tax return. It isn't something I would recommend uh, you do on TurboTax or by yourself. Now, the first item is retirement talk about retirement a lot. I believe that anyone who's self-employed or a small business owner should be saving for retirement. And into December, you should be thinking about, can you make an additional contribution? Have you maxed out the type of plan you have with the S corporation? If you're using a SEP IRA, uh, can you, is there more you can contribute? If you're using a simple IRA, have you been following the plan? Same with the solo 401k. So step one is retirement since more than likely it will be a tax deduction for you. So it's a win for current you since you save on taxes and future you since you're saving for retirement. Now, the next item that I always bring up is did you have anyone who didn't pay you? So a client or a customer who went bankrupt, vanished off the face of the earth, when they owed you money. If so, you should mark those income items or outstanding invoices as a bad debt expense. Now, I would still bring this up in your meeting with your tax accountant just to make sure that the items were in fact bad debt, but it'd be one of the things I'd put on your spreadsheet, make sure that you do. Uh, the third thing would be depreciation. Now, I know depreciation is a complex tax topic. It's an expense that uh, is applied to any large assets you purchase. Things like a building or a $10,000 supercomputer or a car in the business. So one of the things to do as you're coming up into tax time is to go through your equipment category, your supply category, and uh, any office expenses. And I would be looking for anything that was over $5,000, uh, $2,500, anything that's in there. It, your type of business will depend on what you look for. But I have anyone flag anything that's over $2,500 if you don't have an applicable financial statement. Most small business owners, $2,500. Just make sure that you make um, a notation of any purchases that are for uh, physical goods that are over that amount and then that you should bring again to your meeting with your tax accountant. It's one of the things that we go hunting for when we prepare a tax return since those items do need to be treated differently. And then the other thing I would dig deep down to would be uh, obsolete inventory or equipment. So maybe you have, I'm trying to think of a good uh, my mind keeps going to wine. Say you have a whole bunch of wine that expired or went bad and you need a toss since it's unsaleable, that we would need to write off if you have any obsolete equipment. So say you replaced all of everyone's laptops and the laptops that they turned in, they're not worth anything. They're junk. You're going to have to go take them to the recycling plant. Those we would need to write off your books. So along with your list of any bad debts, so invoices of uh, customers or clients that have dropped off the face of the earth, any items over $2,500 that you purchased, and then anything in your inventory, equipment, uh, and property list that is obsolete or is no longer in use, make note of those three items and then bring them with you to your tax meeting. All right, I hope this was helpful. If so, subscribe to our YouTube channel or our mailing list. In our mailing list, we do send additional content 
along with resources and free webinars.